Welcome to my YouTube automotive channel. In today's video I have a 2013 Chevy Equinox and I will show you how to remove and replace the battery. This video will apply to Chevy Equinoxes made from 2011 all the way up to 2017. Now the battery is located under the front hood, just under the PCM, the main vehicle computer. So it's right here. So unfortunately on this vehicle there is a bit more work than usual, but it's definitely global and you don't have to take your vehicle to the shop, you can do it by yourself. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is to remove this black cover from the PCM. Now this cover slides to the right, that's the only way to remove it without breaking it. And to slide it first you have to uh, push onto this black tab to lift it over it and then you can just slide it over. Okay, so I had to use both of my hands to do this, so pretty much I just pushed my tool here to get it over and now I will just push this uh, cover to the right and slide it and remove it. See, these uh, plastic tabs are inside these slots here, so that's why I said you have to push it here. Next thing to do, you want to remove this uh, PCM off the way. It's being held by a 10 millimeter screw right here. So remove that one. Once you have removed this screw, to remove the PCM, you will do the same thing. You will just slide it all the way there. And then once you slide it, lift it up. And now you have gained access to the battery. Before you're able to remove the battery and disconnect the terminals, there is one more thing. There is a battery holder on top of the battery. Now the a bit complicated thing is that one side of the battery holder is screwed under this plastic cover. So to be able to remove the battery holder, first you have to remove this cover and that way you'll get access to that nut which is holding the holder on this side. So what you want to do next, you want to remove three plastic trim screws. This one here, this one here and the one right here. Now to do that, I will demonstrate on one. You have to take this middle piece and pry it out pretty much. Now, this middle plastic piece is supposed to go out. Okay, just like that, you see? And now you can completely remove this plastic piece as well. Okay, and do the same on the other two. Once you have all this taken out, this plastic cover just lifts up, just like that. Now you've gained access to that screw, actually, it's not a nut, it's a screw, and it's a 10 millimeter. So remove that one. Once it's out, you will do the same thing to this nut right here. It's also 10 millimeter. And now just leave the holder off and you have a full access to the battery and you can start to disconnect the battery terminals and to remove the cables. Now one very important thing, always make sure first to disconnect the negative battery pole, then the positive, to avoid any kind of shorts. And when you're installing a new battery, always first connect the positive and then the negative. Don't forget that. To loosen up this nut, you will again need a 10 millimeter socket or a wrench key. 
So you don't want to completely remove this nut, just loosen it up enough so you can wiggle off the cable. Okay, you see just like this, so it's nice and loose. Now to remove it, you just want to wiggle it and lift it up. Uh, if the battery wasn't removed in a long time, it might get kind of stuck. In that case, you can use like a flat screwdriver or something similar to try and pry it from underneath while you are wiggling it. And the third option, if it's still stuck, you can get a flat screwdriver, just pry it right here and tap it on top with a hammer and that should loosen it up. Just be careful not to damage the battery terminal. And the last thing to do is to disconnect the positive battery terminal. Now it's easier for me to use the wrench key because my wrench just wouldn't fit here. And once you do that, the battery is ready to be removed. And once this is disconnected, the battery is completely loose and ready to be picked up and uh, removed. And this is how you remove or replace a battery on a 2013 Chevy Equinox. Okay, thank you for watching this short video. I hope it was helpful and educational. If it was, please like it and consider subscribing to my YouTube automotive channel. On my channel there is lots of how-to videos, do-it-yourself videos, car reviews, product reviews and other similar automotive topics.